And now what we want to focus on is two things. One, Synology Drive and how it compares with Google Docs. Hello and welcome back. Today I want to focus on some more Synology apps. Now, technically I'm focusing just on Synology Office today, but it would be remiss of me to highlight that in order to get to Synology Office and enjoy the Synology Office application, you have to use quite a bit of Synology Drive. So even though this is a Synology Office video, we've got to kind of tip our cap a little bit to Synology Drive. Now, Synology Office is one of the many applications that's part of the, um, as Synology call it, their collaboration suite. It's the ability to have one NAS device that performs and replaces all the other software in your environment. So that means your entire business or home operation is moved over to this NAS platform, this private server, as opposed to public and third-party cloud servers like Google Drive, Dropbox, and more. Now, these other platforms, let to be fair, do give you a lot of services, ease of access, and more. But with subscription systems uh, uh, being in place, as well as your data being very, very far away, internet only, and being on servers that you don't have complete and total, absolute, unstoppable um, confidence that aren't going to be hacked or shared. It's one of the main reasons that a number of businesses are moving from these cloud platforms over to private NAS. Now, with Synology Office, it, it promises to replace all of the other features and functionality available in the likes of Google, Dro uh, Google Docs and, of course, Microsoft Office, as well as third-party freeware like LibreOffice and others. Now, Office has been around for a long time. It has evolved considerably, um, I believe, in the 18 months to two years that it's been available to users ever since the original beta. And with a new beta of Synology Drive client and Synology Office support, I thought it was just worth revisiting this topic. Now, if you want to learn more about Synology Drive, I heartily recommend that you check out my Synology Drive client beta. It covers everything from files and on-demand file streaming, as we can see here, which features all of the different kinds of ways you can synchronize Synology Drive, uh, NAS on your local machine and the app, as well as the other features and functionality of Synology Drive. Do check that out in another video. But for now, what we want to focus on is two things. One, Synology Drive and how it compares with Google Docs. I've uploaded a pile of typical files and templates to both a Google Drive folder and my Synology Drive folder too. It is a Word doc, an, an Excel document, and a PowerPoint presentation, a PPS. It's on both of these devices. And we're gonna look at two things. One, how both the um, platforms deal with these files, and moreover, how intuitive they are. So, if we'll go for something simple, let's go for a Word doc. So we're gonna go for business plan template dot docx and on this one we're going to do the same thing make sure we get the right file because there's lots of different files there double click that and on the google one here it's opened it up and if we want to edit it we open google docs right so we've got both documents here in front of us on these two respective platforms and straight away although it is exactly the same document there is definitely a few minor differences. Now, a lot of this can be put down to the resolution that we're viewing things in. If we zoom that Google Doc in and out, we can probably increase or decrease how much we're looking at here. But the spacing there is slightly different and the Synology document does uh, seem to be a tad longer at 28 pages. Now, both of these are based on an original Word Doc that was produced before. And that Word Doc um, was already spaced at 26 pages. So it's quite bizarre that Google Docs has managed to get it down to 24 pages and um, Synology Office has got it up to 28. So somewhere along the line, there has been spacing conversions that have gone wrong for both Google Drive and for Synology's Office application. So what can we see? Well, the apps themselves do have one major difference between them that shouldn't come as a big surprise to anyone that's ever owned a NAS. Scrolling through the documents on the Google Doc is slower. The fact that the Google Doc here is being browsed online, it's clearly being done in stages, and this is quite a heavy document at 24 pages. So when you scroll through, there's definitely a lag. Now, normally I would blame the video encoding of that, but then if you go to the Synology Doc, it moves very quick. And obviously, that is because this is a local area network. It's being accessed 
on our LAN as opposed to the internet. So when it does load the file, the entire file is going to be readily available. Now, with the exception of the different spacings that have occurred by Google Docs and Synology Office, therefore making each individual document ever so slightly different in length, it's worth saying that all of the graphics have made it through these two applications. On both cases, all of the graphs, all of the projections, all of the summaries of this document have been carried over accordingly and within their preset layout. The only difference I did notice that is that Google Docs seems to have centered the majority of this text. In many cases, um, where you would see, for example, just there on the screen, I'll try to scroll back there, but the, the lag on Google Docs over the internet isn't being hugely helpful. In the case of um, the Sheet document, um, the Google Sheets document, it is completely centered with the graphics, whereas on the Synology document, it is on the left-hand side. But on the original document, they are on the left-hand side. So I'm not sure how that's been centered there. We're not going to criticize Google Docs for that because it is still a pretty good achievement that it's managed to open this file designed for Windows almost perfectly on their platform. But between the two of them, that speed of access is key there. And if you're typing in a document, obviously fluidity and how quickly words appear on screen, such as if we put something here, we'll put on there, there isn't too much of any kind of delay there at all. There's about as much delay as you would expect um, within this context. And on this one, there has been enough of a delay that I wasn't able to catch that error. Now, the, the difference there is so small, it's unreal, but it's the fact that such a large document has been loaded in the browser that I think that's where that delay comes from. And again, we're not gonna give one an advantage over the other in those terms, but merely highlight the fact that one is internet accessed and the other is local. Now, if we move away from this Word doc, because both of them are saving, directly in their respective repositories. If we exit that file and exit that file, we can make our way back to those list of files on Google, Dro uh, Google Docs and Synology's Drive and Office application. Next, let's move over to an Excel file. Double click there, double click there, and we'll get these respective Excel documents opened. Once again, the Google Doc opens the template and preview first, and then we can go into Sheets whereas the Synology goes straight into Sheets. Now, it's worth highlighting two things. One, the fact that the Synology application, when it does open it, it opens it in a native manner, but you can uh, um, uh, divide and make the device open it up directly as a Synology Office document. That is to say, to save the document as a Synology doc. At the moment, it's opening it as a Windows XLSX, but we can convert it into a Synology Office document, something I'll show you later on. Also, it's worth mentioning that once again, because we're using a local NAS and a local server to access these files for editing in our web browser, the graphics loaded up immediately. Whereas in the case of Google Docs, we had to wait a little bit longer for graphics to load that are within the Excel document. And again, that's because of internet access. Now, if we look at the size of this document here, it is quite a fair few pages. Both of them are quite large Excel documents. Um, we've got some text there, and we're going up to about row 32, 33, but that is still pretty sound there. I'm not quite sure where the grid has gone on this document, and it is saying that some of Microsoft Excel's features are not present. Uh, and if we save this document within Google, it will save as a Google Doc, but still, nevertheless, these two are pretty identical indeed. We can't really give too much of an advantage one way or the other in this case. But again, importing to Synology Office is something we're gonna do now just to show you what that means. Because while we're doing this, it's worth highlighting that down here, we've still got that Synology drive and I've pinned and long-term streamed that folder there. So as it converts this into a, um, a Synology Office document, we can see now that not only is the Office document I created earlier, with Synology Office, they're located with the date and time, but now we can convert this into a Synology doc, which will make things easier in the future. So if we save it, alternatively save as a template, if we wanted to do a template, click 
click OK. And now we're creating templates of these files for us to access as and when we need them. And again, that folder there is going to be constantly pinned and synchronized in the background, but we can force it if we choose to. And from here, right now, it's now creating that template of that business workout plan that we can use going forward. And again, as it's in the browser, it moves nice and quick. We'll come out of there, we'll come out of there and make our way back to the list of main files and folders. If we go back to our drive, go there, I will realize that I have actually ceased synchronization to for the sake of this video and to make things fair on the Synology, uh, on the Google Docs. But for now, what I'll do is I'll let that resume so we can synchronize that extra file that we've just created. And there you go, they're being synchronized there in the background and then I can pause it. So if we make our way back to the Synology Drive folder, there's all our folders. There's our workbook there in Synology Office form. If we open that up there. And what's inter interesting here is I've got Microsoft Word and LibreOffice installed on this device. So the hollow icons there are LibreOffice. And if I was to open them now, they will open within LibreOffice. But these new Synology Office docs on my local folder, if I open up there, double click, it will now open in the web browser and it will open these files locally into the web browser but still using that IP. Now there's probably going to be the first time I've done this a security precaution because of HTTPS not being um, certified on this device. I've not put an SSL certificate on this NAS but don't worry that won't be the case for you. It's nice and straightforward don't worry about it. We are doing a full video on Let's Encrypt and SSL certificates very soon indeed but let's make our way back and now we can look at a PowerPoint presentation. Let's go for sample PPTX. Open that up there, same goes there. And we'll repeat what we were doing before. There you go, Google Slides opens up there. We'll try that later on. And there is our PowerPoint presentation, which we now want to open up in Google Slides. Likewise, Synology is doing it too, so let's fast forward. All right, so we've opened up our PPTX file to look at the PowerPoint presentation. Now, first things first, it's worth mentioning that the Google Doc managed to open it up a pinch quicker. However, when I, when I wanted to flick between individual pages, and there's only two in this PowerPoint as it's a sample file, that took a little bit longer. Um, as for the layout of the files themselves, they're very, very similar indeed. Likewise, if we move over to page two, where we've got a little bit more text to look at, we can see that the spacing is slightly different on that Synology. And again, this could be a case of the zoom, as mentioned before, but I don't think it is. In this case, I think these two open and handle these files just as similar as one another. I have noticed a slight difference there on the thumbnail there for each of the pages in the PowerPoint, but I've done a page refresh and it brought it back, but I just thought it would be sensible and only fair to show it in its original form. Between the two of them, there's not a vast amount of difference, and I think what we should do is move over to a bigger file just to get some idea. And at the same, if we move out from there, we can see that uh, the sample, the Synology file, is being created there in the background in case of that presentation. But let's move over to another one of the PPS files. Let's go for example. Finally, let's look at a bigger PowerPoint presentation. This is one of the default Microsoft PowerPoint uh, examples that you can utilize. And on both of them, the text has been displayed remarkably similarly. It's a very basic PowerPoint presentation and it's got lots of graphics and stuff inside it, but there's no denying that it does load a little slower on the Google Docs because it's streamed online. But for now, How's about we have a look at the fact that both of these presentations, although completed, there's one graphic that hasn't seemed to have made it through the cut, and that's this one here. But let's see if we complete the presentation, whether we can see it happening in motion. Because at the moment, we can set it up to watch the whole presentation as it is. And the Google Docs one, of course, if we try to arrange that here, so if we present and want to watch the presentation, we'll view and we'll present this one, and unfortunately the Google one will go full screen, which is super duper annoying. And it still needs to load them all in the background, but it did manage to pull those graphics in a way that the Synology app didn't. But if we look at the template, we can flick through, 
and they do look remarkably similar indeed. The Google One here, once again, because it's web-based, there's just that lag factor all the time that is something you're gonna to have to contend with. Now, it's worth highlighting that Synology Office, you'll still be able to access your files over the internet, which means that it might level the playing field between them. But the point I'm trying to make with this video isn't that one is indeed better than the other, because I really don't think that's the case. What I'm saying is that you have got those features and functionality of an Office application and an Office doc handling tools with a private NAS yeah, included with your device, this is all in bundled in, that you get with otherwise bigger companies and brands. And of course, without sharing your data with a server that you've got no direct contact with. Now, I'm gonna be doing uh, another video on Presto File Server, along with a couple of others, along with that big one, Active Backup, that I've been working on for a while. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful in some way. I know it's not been the most exciting video, but unfortunately, this isn't a hot, sexy subject to talk about. But I hope you enjoyed this. Click like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.